Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to another episode of Let's Play Corona Trigger. In the last episode, we were doing some side quests, and we are dangerously getting close to the end of this Let's Play. We have two more side quests to go, and the Black Omen, but we're not going to be doing the Black Omen. Um, but that is a section of gameplay that we could do, but we're not going to do it. I don't want to end it that way. Um, so yeah, there's actually something I completely forgot. So if we head back to 600 AD with our party and go back into Ozzy's fort, as a couple of you have mentioned, uh, Magus' ultimate equipment lies in here in a secret room. If you remember, I've mentioned a couple times that, you know, in RPGs, mostly JRPGs, I like hugging black walls like this because there's secret rooms a lot of the time, and I completely forgot about this, although I have gotten this stuff before, so I do know about it, I just forgot about it, but if we come to this room with that guillotine thing, um, and we see these stairs here, we can, like, we should be able to hug the wall, there we go, and look at this, there's a secret room back here that has one gloom cape, one gloom helm, and one doom sickle, as well as a sparkle sparkle here, which is going to be a magic tab. So all of that is Magus's ultimate equipment. So let's go ahead and equip that stuff. The doom sickle is an increase in damage and also an attack up when an ally falls. So that means when someone dies, he gets an increase in attack. I don't think that's too important unless it's talking about magic attack because his physical attacks aren't really that strong. All right, we're going to switch out the prism helm for a gloom helm, which also protects status as well as a defense up, which I think means that Magus can't get any status afflictions, which is very nice indeed. And finally, the gloom cape, which is just an increase to uh, Magus's defense with no special properties. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and exit Ozzy's fort, and we have... Two more side quests, like I said. The first one deals with Robo, which is why he's in our party and which is why he's the leader of the party. And the second one deals with uh, Frog, but we'll get to that when we need to. So let's go ahead and warp. I always do that. Let's go ahead and warp to 2300 AD, and we're going to deal with some more robots. And this one, I don't really, I don't really remember too much. I know a couple of things that happen with it, but a lot of it I'm forgetting. Okay, so let's see. So this is the factory. Okay, so I think we need to find the protodome to get my bearings here. So there's the protodome. Okay, we're looking for basically an island, and I forget if it's northeast or north... Uh, or southeast, I should say. Okay, so here it is. It's southeast. All right. So let's see. Here we have the genodome, and apparently every time that lightning flashes, uh, you lose health. Although I'm not seeing a loss of health here, but that's what someone said. Maybe they were lying. I don't know. Anyways, we're going to go into the Genodome and see what this side quest has to offer. We have a terminal here. Who enters here unbidden? Oh. Welcome home, R66-Y, or R-66-Y. Or should I say Prometheus? You dare to defile this place with humans? I haven't seen them in ages. Let me welcome them. Come closer. That doesn't sound ominous at all. Also, our exit has been uh, blocked. We cannot leave. So, that's wonderful. Have we equipped Robo with the best things that he can equip? I don't think so. Yeah, we'll equip the Prism Helm. He's good on that. And the Muscle Ring? Yeah, okay. I think the Muscle Ring increases his vigor by six or something. Let's just see what you can do. Okay, so we have a conveyor belt here, which I think if I remember right... Oh, it's one of these segments. Not bad for humans, but can you find your way to me? Yes. Yes, I can. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, we're a little bit over-leveled for this part of the game. I'm not sure if there's, like, a optimal way to do these side quests. Um, you know, with the rainbow shell and the, uh, the sunstone there was, because if you do the sunstone before, you, you're able to get the prism stuff. Um, but yeah, it looks like we're way too over-leveled for this. Like, Luminaire just flat-out killed all those things. Okay, let's see. So, we have another factory setting, which I don't really like. But we are gonna, you know, obviously do it, because I'm doing all the side quests, of course. Alright, so let's Luminaire these little deep buggists. Gotta love the names in the original version, man. Goodbye! See ya! Adios! Okay. 
So let's see, we have a lot of pathways here. We have this one. 300 years ago, the Lavos disaster greatly changed the planet. At this rate, humans will die out from pure despair. Who is that voice? So we have that path, we have that path, we have a door, which looks like it's locked. Can we have to activate this switch? No, okay. And what about this? There's a switch here, which opens this. Looks like we can climb inside of it. But uh, we can't activate it or anything, or anything, I should say. All right. Um. Let's see. That door opens automatically. We have a sparkle, sparkle right here. But I think this just activates something. Enter the dust chute. Yeah. Why not? Let's go into the dust chute. Start from the bottom and work our way up. I guess this isn't where we entered, was it? Can't go back up here, can we? No. What about this terminal? Okay. So that did the same thing at the start. I wonder. If Okay, no, 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 no. Oh my god. Alright, well now we know the death shoot, or the the, the dust shoot, uh, leads back to the start. So we won't be doing that again. Uh, let's go ahead and activate this again. Did that just shut it off? Looks like it did. Okay, I think we'll start from the right to the left. Can we go in through here? We can. Uh, that looks like an elevator. We'll hold off on that for now. We'll explore this place fully. We'll leave that guy be. We don't really want to mess with him. What's in here? Let's see, looks like a bunch of protos and two chests, so those things are going to come out and fight us, I guarantee it. One lapis and one elixir. Alright, do it. Come on, guys. No? Was I wrong? Really? I see you guys in there. Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine with me. I don't want to fight you guys anyways. Alright, does this lead down? No. Okay, we have a couple of proto enemies over there, but we're blocked off by that. Oh, where'd it go? There's so many different ways. Oh my god, even more. Look at this. Can we go through here? Looks like we can, might lead to a, uh oh, what's going on here? That proto looks like he's moving towards me. I'm stuck, I can't really move. Um. Okay, <laughs> I sort of remember that, but I don't really know what just happened. Looks like that proto just moved sides or something. I'm trying to activate anything back here if we can. Doesn't look like we can, all right. Let's see, we're blocked off by a laser there. Uh, switch. Okay, we'll keep opening these. I don't really remember what that does. What about this? No, we're blocked off. Okay, good. Starting to tie up loose ends. Let's head back down here. Um, there was nothing in that door. And we can't go over here. Okay, it just seems like, it just seems that there's a lot of different places to go, but there's actually not. Um, so that was an elevator. Let's go to the left now. So you can't go in that door. Let's go up here and go inside here. And, oh my god, there's so many different ways to go. Let's grab that chest. Actually, let's kill these guys. Okay, let's grab this chest. One full tonic. Uh, that looks like a note. Can we not read that note, though? Okay, let's just have this be open, then. Can we activate this terminal? R66-Y, this computer can give us data about the Genodome. What shall we examine first? Door, conveyor belt, guard machine, doll. Let's go with door. To open locked doors, simply charge the energy pods beside them. Energize first in the pod to your left, then enter the pod next to a locked door. Anything else? Yes. How about the conveyor belt? The belt conveyor to the right can be reversed with a switch above it. Anything else? Yes. How about the guard machine? The robot guarding the figurine will block anyone that tries to pass, but if you place two guards in front of each other, they will short circuit. Yes, this is all coming back to me now. Return the broken guard to the room upstairs. Anything else? Yes. How about the doll? You must obtain the two figurines on the floor to fight the mother brain. Do not leave without them. Anything else? No. Okay. So it's talking about these pods we can charge, like so. Oh, I remember this. Yes, okay. Yeah, right, right, right. So you have to, like, walk inside this one, which charges up Robo, and then you have to go to the locked doors like this one. Right? No? Right? I thought that's how it works. Okay, so there's a locked door. Let's try that one more time, because I swear to God, that's what it's supposed to do. So Robo's now charged, as you can see by that electricity thing. If we walk in here, there we go. Okay, I don't know why it didn't work the first time. Let's head in here. Looks like it's just a bunch of extra stuff. Full tonic and 50,000 G. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, um, I might have to not be a completionist for this one. Okay, we have a doll here. And there's the thing it was talking about. So we need the two dolls to advance to fight the boss. And uh, it won't let us... We need to grab a guard and like put them in front of this one so that they short circuit. Um, okay, so let's go this way. And let's see, let's just grab a charge, because why not? And then let's go up here. 
and see if we can quickly find... There's one, but the switch isn't open, or it's not open. We can't go inside. Okay, well, that sucks. All right, well, moving forward. Don't these things fight you? Yes, they do. I kind of figured. Laser guards. Pretty sure they'll die to one Luminaire. Why don't we see, shall we? Oh, but you'll notice one is green, and the rest are orange. I think that might have an effect. Or they might just all die. Yeah, they're all gonna die. Never mind. I saw the targeting cursor was being weird for a second, so I thought it might not be that easy, but never mind. Okay, uh, so we need to find a way to open that. Okay, so we have three switches here. Can we clear? Can we uh, use like a secret entrance? No. Alright, let's hit this one. Uh, I'm not seeing anything happen. What about this one? Not seeing anything happen. How about this one? No. Okay. I hate, hate, hate. Puzzles like this, uh, I, I distinctly remember one like Pokemon Silver. Um, oh my god, I really hate this stuff. Yeah, I might just have to like figure it out on my own. I don't really know what combination. Oh, okay, well that works. All right, <laughs> try on error. All right, let's go ahead and grab a charge real quick. There we go. Let's go ahead and go into this door. There we go, and let's grab the first doll. Hello. Okay, and I don't think this does anything. No. All right, so we're still not done with this floor. Now, we can use that elevator, but we might not be able to just yet, but we need to get that other doll, and to do that, we need to get a... Um... Uh, another sentry robot thing. All right, so what, what did this have? I think just chest, right? Yeah. All right, let's go up here, then. Can't go to the right. What was to the left? Looks like we need to activate another charge. All right, back down. You know what, I just realized that we're going to need to activate that conveyor belt to put this charge in that one. Because, yeah, you need to go faster. Watch, it's going to be too... Yep, we're too slow. We can't get there in time. So, yeah, we need to activate that conveyor belt. Um, so there's the switch on the on the left there, and I'm not sure if it wants us to activate it in here. It doesn't look like we can go anywhere else, though. Uh, Alright, well, I'm at a loss right now. Why don't we go ahead and check out that elevator, which I'm going to assume is not even going to allow us to move. Let's see. I was wrong. Okay. Alright, so we're on the second floor now. Let's go ahead and save the game. Don't think we need to heal up. I think everybody's good to go. Looks like we have another fight on our hands. Didn't even see these guys. Okay, there's a chest down here that has one lapis. We are absolutely stocking up on the lapises and the shields and the barriers. Um, okay, we'll hold off on this room for a second. Let's go ahead and go down here to the left. I see a switch on the wall here. Okay, didn't expect that to happen. All right, what about to the left over here? Oh my god, even more. Oh Jesus, I don't like the factory setting. All right, we have a Sparkle Sparkle, which has, or which is a magic tab. We also have a Mega Elixir. Okay, like lagged for a second there, weird. Okay, um, let's go in here first. Pretty sure we're gonna hit a roadblock pretty soon. Don't you understand? This planet would be peaceful if there were no humans around. And yet you still wanna fight? Why? have to. Okay, let's see where this leads. Two more laser thingamajigs. Oh, and protos. Okay, that door looks locked to me, but it's not. I was wrong. Another elevator here. Looks like it's leading us down. Okay, this looks like it's gonna be behind. Yes, I was right. All right, so it looks like we can activate the switch. Let's take out these laser things. Okay, we have a switch over here, which I'm assuming is gonna deactivate that red laser. Indeed it is, so now we have a shortcut. Uh, we can also probably cut through here. Yes, and it looks like there's two chests over there. Okay, yeah, that's that switch that we need to activate. Okay, so this is gonna reverse the conveyor belt. Yes, good. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to head down here, and hopefully we can go downwards. Yes, we can. All right, we need to go ahead, bleh, we need to go ahead and grab ourselves a charge. So let's see, um, that's where we need to go, or that's what we need to charge. But how do we get back down? Oh, we need to circumvent all this stuff again. Excuse me, I think if we kill that guy, he won't be there for the rest, so we probably should. But I don't really care. Alright, so we're going to do this, and then we're going to quickly run around here. We can't cut through there. There's like a little barrier there, if you guys are wondering why I didn't. Ugh. Opening that door is going to cut out some time. Okay, now with the conveyor belt, we can get in here in time. There we go. And inside here we have a dummy. Hello there. All right, he's going to move automatically. We have one hyper ether and one full ether. Okay, so let's see. Are you, like, following me? It looks like he's following me. That's good. All right, so now we want to head over here. Actually, 
Where'd you go? Are you like, what, what, what are you doing, buddy? Do I have to like push you? Or what's going on here? Looks like he's getting stuck. Okay, there you go. Yeah, come down here. Come down here. Oh my god. Video game AI. Over here, please. Thank you. Yes. Follow me. Doing a great job, buddy. Over here. I know the conveyor belt's a little tricky, but I know you can do it. No. I, yeah, walls are hard, aren't they? No. Come on. A little bit down. There we go. Oh my god, this guy's slow as balls. Let's go. Come on, buddy. I want to get this side quest done in this episode. You know what I mean? Alright, let's go. Over here. We're almost there. You're doing a great job. It's weird. You know, this mechanic doesn't exist like anywhere else in this game, I don't think. So it's kind of funny that they programmed it just for this little part here. Like, you would think they would just make it an item and then you place it. Alright, so if we... I think he's going to do it automatically, but he's going to... Oh, wait, no? Okay. There you go. There we go, and they're short-circuited. Alright, let's grab this chest, which has one Vigil hat. I think that was the 50,000 uh, gill item that we saw in uh, Fiona's sanctuary that the nuns were selling. Okay, so now we need to head back upstairs. So let's use the elevator. We do have the two dolls, which means we should be able to fight the boss fight. There's probably not too much left. Um, should we use a shelter? No. I think this boss fight is going to be easy enough. Okay, so let's see. Where did that lead? I think what we need to do is we need to head down here and to the left. Welcome home, Prometheus. Uh, Tropos? Yes, it's been a while, Prometheus. You can stop pretending now and join us. I don't know if it's pronounced Atropos or Atropos or what. I'm sure someone will correct me in the comment section. Unlike the other R-series, Prometheus had a special task. To live with humans and study them as a species. I see. Tell them, Prometheus. Um. Okay, that was like a huge pause. <laughs> now step back, Prometheus. We'll get rid of these humans, then go see Mother. <laughs> We're leaving. What are you doing, Prometheus? I won't allow you to hurt them. You are indeed defective. They have tampered with you. I'll destroy them, then fix you. Atropos, you've changed. Indeed, Mother remade me to eliminate humans more efficiently. Step back, Prometheus. My name is R66-Y. That'd be funny if we named him Prometheus, and then she was like, Step back, Prometheus, and he's like, My name's Prometheus. Prometheus! Wait! Stand back and leave this to me! Atropos! Prometheus! And it's a boss fight with just Robo. Okay, um, I'm not sure exactly what the best thing to do is here. Robo's not really that leveled. Oh man, her damage is laughable though. Let's Robo tackle that bitch. Boom, 800 damage right off the bat. Alright, I think we'll just keep spamming that over and over and over and over and over and over and over. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, she's doing a cure beam. She probably has a lot of the same text that Robo has. I don't remember this boss fight too much. Like I said, I think I've only done all of the side quests maybe two times at most. Definitely not more than two times. As a young kid, you know, it's just like, I was always focused on the main quest. I didn't probably even know these opportunities existed, you know what I mean? That's why when I played Morrowind, I really only stuck to the main quest, and I loved it so much, even though I never... Oh, we need a heal. Uh... Midonic. There you are. Alright, so she keeps doing this area bomb tech that deals about 130, right? No, 104? Okay. Uh, but a Robo Tackle, oh my god, Robo's, um, Robo's speed or his, you know, how fast his gauge charges up is so incredibly slow. But yeah, we're doing 800 damage each time with uh, this Robo Tackle. It looks like she's not doing anything else. The only thing I'm scared of is she has, like, an ultimate attack. That will completely kill me if I don't keep healing up. So we'll use one more Robo Tackle and hope that doesn't kill me. Hope it kills her, actually. Die. Damn it. Okay, yeah. So now we need to heal up. Area Bomb. Yeah. Oh, God, no. Okay. Okay. Wait. Oh, okay. Okay. I got really scared there that that was her ultimate attack. Pr Prometheus? It's been ages. Atropos? I'm damaged? What happened? Atropos! My memory bank. 
Mother must have done something nasty when she reprogrammed me. Partial memory restored. I'm sorry, Prometheus. Atropos. This is for you. You can plug this into your circuits. Please take care of it. Goodbye, Prometheus. She just disappears. Odd. Atropos' ribbon ups R66-Y's speed by 3 and magic defense by 10. Okay, well, let's go ahead and equip that then, because that's obviously his ultimate, uh... Ultimate, uh, accessory. Atropos' ribbon, where are you? Where's, where's the ribbon? Is it, like, not... Maybe it's just, like, a passive thing? Did I miss it? Okay, I guess it's just like a passive buff. Weird. Um, alright. Well, let's see. We have stuff to the left. We already explored the north. Let's go to the left, then. Okay. Listen well, humans. Lavos' children will one day have to leave to seek new planets and pray. This world could sustain them if humans were not around. We robots will create a new order, a nation of steel and pure logic. A true paradise. Our species will replace you. So stop your foolish struggle and succumb to the sleep of eternity. Jesus Christ. We're going to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. We'll finish this uh, side quest in the next one. I don't know how much is left, to be quite honest, and I don't want to stretch this episode out too long. I have a lot of stuff to do today. Um, but yeah, we're very close to the end of this Let's Play. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.